Hello and welcome back to the channel. It is proving to be an even busier week than anticipated with the release of two brand new House of the Dragon Season 2 trailers. One for Team Black, one for Team Green. Now, obviously, I'm more excited for the Team Black one, being that my kind of side-eye support in the dance. However, I'm sure both will be absolutely phenomenal as they're measuring around two minutes each, which is... It's quite a lot of stuff, especially for HBO to give away before the release of Season 2. I was a huge fan of Season 1. I've read Fire and Blood several times, so I can't wait to see how more of the Dance of the Dragons is adapted into live action. But without further ado, let's get started off with the Team Black trailer. Rhaenyra. We fight for our queen! We bloody do. That was correct, he's okay. I'm really liking what they're doing with this marketing with, like, choose a side. My father chose me, his firstborn child. The righteous, succeed. rightful queen of Restoros. Harrenhal. Hell, that's near Storm's End. She's looking for Luke, maybe? Son sits my throne. I mean to fight this war and win it. Damon. <laughs> Realm will soon tear itself apart. Dragon Tamers. That's the Cyrax. The That's the North. King Viserys. That's the Wall. Is that Cre That was Cregan Stark. The High Towers are marching. You must crush this beast at its head. Absolutely. Wait, is that? Very simple. Okay, that's Damon. Renounce the false king and bend the knee to the king. Or your house burns. Good God. The desire to kill and burn takes hold and reason is forgotten. Hang on, what was that? What began the war in the first place? We fight for our is that Eric and Eric? If you would have begun. Caraxes. <laughs> okay. Well, that didn't give a great deal away, but June 16th. June is going to be stacked. And that was that was just the that was just the team black trailer. Right. Let's get on to the team green one. <laughs> well, I'm not I am not choosing green, but <laughs> well, we'll still watch the trailer. Only weeks ago, my lord husband was alive. Alison's still holding the tradition, I see. Laris. Not a fan Death of Lord Foot. See, that's what ticks me off the most is Alison's massive misunderstanding of that scene. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan of that. They wish now not for the good of the realm, but for the satisfaction of vengeance. Saying that also. Not against the king, and I will pay that, back a That's blood and cheese. Ever. I'm as fearsome as any. And he's got some. That's his war. Uh, no sunfire. Sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. Harren Hall. My uncle is a challenge I won't come. If he dares face. We're not me. getting the battle of the gods like this season, surely. We will prevail and bring forth peace. But you must accept that the path to Blackwoods and Brackens, it looks like. Is one of violence. Good. That's the aftermath of it. To war then. The battle sequences this season are going to be. Endeavored to serve both my house and the realm. Your house takes right. That was the Tower of Joy, it looked like. Hold to your courage for the one true king, Aegon. <laughs> okay. I mean that that was pretty solid as well. I can't lie. Okay, so now I've watched both trailers. We got some pretty cool stuff there. It looks like we've got a visit to the wall, which I can't recall happening in the source material. Yet again, Fire and Blood is not, um, it's not written like other, other materials by George R. R. Martin, like Night of the Seven Kingdoms and the Game of Thrones kind of series. It's written more as a historical text so you, i think that's fair enough that they can do additional things like that um getting a glimpse of the wall was incredibly cool and i think we got a tiny tiny snippet of lord cregan stark um and as a massive fan of the starks which albeit is kind of basic that is 
beyond terrific. I'm glad we, we've kind of gotten some, a little bit, although it is a crumb, we at least got a crumb of one of the coolest Starks in the whole of A Song of Ice and Fire. Of course, second place to Ned Stark, but there you go. Um, <laughs> looking at it, though, it does look like we had the Sir Eric versus Sir Eric fight, which I can't quite placed timeline wise but that may also be due for this season and if so it's going to be incredibly interesting i does see that they got a little bit more spotlight in these two trailers and i hope they do get given a little bit of spotlight in the second season as that battle is one of the most interesting parts of the dance being them both ha having both twins one black team black one team green pitted against each other is a very interesting dynamic and one I can't wait to see explored more within the show. I'll be interested to see if there's some stuff that happens like between them communicating or anything like that, but we'll have to see. Um, we did get some sh shots of Harren Hall. Now, of course, Aemond does take control of Harren Hall at the beginning of the dance, I believe. So I'm assuming that's going to be showing the whole kind of Conflict with Aemon taking Harren Hall and then Daemon taking it back. What does happen in the books is a sequence called the Battle Above the God's Eye. Now, I will say massive, massive spoilers ahead if you've not delved into the books. Um, we, I assume you've probably clicked off if you haven't anyway. Um, but um, that is the fight where Aemon uh, is killed by Daemon and Daemon is killed by the fall as he jumps from his dra dragon Caraxes onto Aemon riding Vagar and kills him. I don't think that's going to happen this season, and honestly, I don't want it to. I want that to wait for season three. While it's possible they could squeeze it in, I'd sooner not have it in season two. I'd rather they gave things a little bit more breathing room. Um, I'm trying to think of other things of note within that trailer. I think that's more or less the basics. I mean, we got some snips of what I'm assuming is blood and cheese in the aftermath. Uh, again, spoilers if you've not read the books, but blood and cheese involves the killing of, I believe, Egon and uh, Helena's... I'm not sure if it was their youngest or their eldest child uh, in front of Helena. And it was a very kind of like... Ugh, seen in the books so i can't imagine how it's going to be adapted into live action it's going to be the red wedding all over again um but yeah no i mean they were very very good two trailers and we're getting it so soon only coming out in june so we've not got long to wait at all but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that will be all for today's uh, trailer reaction thank you all very much for watching please be sure to like subscribe really helps me out and if what did you think of the trailer most of all please drop down in the comments below i'd be interested to hear your thoughts and theories if you've not read fire and blood as i'm sure people have many um but yeah that will be all thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one